Hey guys, I'm Mezzy Mock to this quick start guide for Mythic Atal the Tsar. Atal the Tsar is one of the old expansion dungeons joined in the Mythic Plus dungeon pool in Season 3. First up is Razan. The bone piles summon adds if you or the boss stand on them, so don't do that, and if you do, kill them. Next, hide behind the pillar to not be feared by terrifying Visage. When you get targeted by pursuit, run away from the boss and stay on the edge of the room. If he reaches you while he's chasing you, he'll eat you. When the chase ends, tanks reposition the boss so that the group can hide easily again for the next fear. And lastly, tanks will get a bleed on them that also increases physical damage taken. Next is Volcal and is a two-phase encounter. In both phases, interrupt noxious stench to prevent the disease from stacking too high. In phase 1, kill the 3 reanimation totems at the same time to get rid of them. The boss will keep healing until they're killed. Assign 1 DPS per totem and finish them at roughly the same time. If you don't, the totems will regenerate. Lastly for phase 1, Volcal will also jump around with Toxic Leap. Move out of the swirl. When all 3 totems are dead, phase 2 starts. Volcal will stop jumping around and instead continuously spawn puddles. Don't stand in them and loosely spread out as you move around the room as a group. You can save space by standing next to existing puddles to help group the puddles up. The third boss is Priestess Alunza and is all about the blood puddles. Don't touch the blood puddles until transfusion gets cast. When the boss starts casting transfusion, everyone should be moving into a puddle to absorb it and get a debuff. If you have the debuff, good, the boss will damage herself. If you don't have the debuff, the boss will heal from transfusion. Coordinate who will stand in which puddle and range to help the melee out by standing next to the puddles away from the boss. Next, Spirit of Gold will spawn. Slow, stun and kill it. If it reaches a blood puddle, then you will lose it, so don't let that happen. Other than that, tanks will take more damage when the boss has gilded claws, healers dispel the molten gold dot on random players, and everyone should move away from the golden orbs. The final boss is Yasma. Let's start with the simple part. Interrupt racking pain and tanks be ready to take damage from Skewer. Positioning is key on this boss. There are two different abilities that will require you to move in a certain way. The first, Echoes of Shadra will spawn spiders throughout the fight. Don't touch them unless you want to die. When they grow big, they will run at a random player, and if you do touch them, they explode and leave behind a puddle on the floor. The second ability is Soul Rend. At 100 energy, the boss will put arrows on all players except for the tank. The four players need to move away from the boss. Souls will spawn and move towards the boss. Slow, stun and kill these. They are not allowed to touch the boss because if they do, they'll explode, deal AoE damage and leave a nasty dot on you. To deal with these two chaotic abilities, move around the edge of the room as a group so that the spiders are always behind you. The tank is in the driver's seat here. As tank, you will be setting the pace. You want to align the movement so that the boss reaches 100 energy as your group reaches one of the two outer platforms of the room, marked with a triangle and circle here. Use the outer edge to drop off the soul rend arrows, kill the adds, and then continue moving around the room. As more spiders spawn, you can use immunities such as turtle and bubble to pop some spiders. You'll sacrifice some space to have less chasing you around. If you'd like to see how the movement for the full fight works out in practice, I'll link a gameplay movement video just for this fight in the description. And that's all you need to know for the Atal Dazar bosses. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe and share it with others. I would very much appreciate it as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. For now, I'm Mezzi and I'll see you again next time.